Hey everybody, this is Lewis, Lewis Speaks 2020. And today I wanna to ask you a question. Are you making space for your blessings? Are you making room in your life for the things that you ask for? I realize oftentimes we hold on to baggage and dead situations and old lovers and residual feelings and bitterness and we wonder why we're not being blessed because we still harbor resentments. We still harbor old feelings. We still hold on to negative thinking patterns that block the numerous myriad blessings that await us. You know, I realize that when you still hold on to something, your hands are not free. Your hands are like a fist that keeps on holding. You're not free to receive your blessing, you know? And so I challenge everybody to think about, are you making room in your life to receive your blessing? Are you clearing out the space, preparing for what's in store? I'll give you an example. You know, right now and in my life, I feel as though I'm stuck. I'm stuck waiting for something to happen, waiting for my blessing when I can be using this time right now to begin doing things to support my blessing, working out, getting my body in shape and making sure that I'm at my most strongest and at my most healthiest so that when my blessing does manifest, I'm ready, you know? Oftentimes we have this idea in our minds of how we want to receive things. We want it on our own terms. And sometimes life does not work that way. Sometimes we have to be patient. And that's the thing that is really upsetting. It's really upsetting having to wait, wait and sit in that space of not knowing. It's like that space of wondering what's going to happen, the unknown. It's a very uncomfortable space to be in. But sometimes that space is, is necessary. You know? It's like we put in seeds in the ground and we don't really see how the, the seeds grow. We don't see. We hope that basically what we put down will materialize, will manifest, will grow, but we have no guarantee, you know? Um, all we can do is just do the work, put in the work and hope that what we do will, will turn out good, you know? Um, I realize that there are areas in my life where I need to learn how to make room and this is not an easy task because it relies on faith, you know? And sometimes when your faith is shot due to so many disappointments and due to so much, so much mistrust in your life, it's hard to have faith, but it's necessary. You know, you just have to learn how to sometimes let it do what it do and just rock with the process. You know, you just gotta start making room, knowing that basically something will transpire. So I challenge you again today, ask yourself, how can I make room in my life for what I ask for? How can I ready myself to receive my abundance? So I encourage everybody to consider that and begin making room, doing the necessary work it takes to clear the space, Make sure that your mind, for example, if you're carrying old burdens, if you're still praying for love and you're still holding on to former memories, if you're still holding on to toxic bitterness, if you're still carrying that bag, it's time to let it go. It's time to let it go. Because sometimes your memories can be your worst enemy. So you definitely need to let that go and clear that space so that way you can make room for the new. So, and that takes time. That takes time. So 
while you're waiting on love or while you're waiting on your great miraculous blessing to come to you, it's time you begin to do the work of healing, clearing space and making room because your blessing is coming. So this has been Lewis, Lewis Speaks 2020. Peace, y'all.